SaaS management is growing as a fundamental business practice within the enterprise. And many IT, software asset management, and procurement leaders are still wrapping their brains around what it is and how to do it successfully. That's why in today's episode, I'm going to be providing answers to that question, what is SaaS management? If you're an old friend of the show, yes, we have covered this topic before. But as I said, as the practice matures and as we learn more from our customers' experiences, so does the way we think about it. So let's jump in. What the heck is SaaS management? SaaS management is the holistic business practice of proactively managing, optimizing, and governing all of your SaaS applications within a company's portfolio through inventory, license, and renewal management. It is founded on four tenets, complete visibility, license optimization, cost savings, and risk avoidance. There's not just one team who owns this business practice. In fact, it requires cross-collaboration between IT, software asset management, and procurement teams, typically with executive sponsorship from either your CIO or CFO. Now that we're clear in the definition, let's look at the problems that it solves. First, it helps you eliminate your blind spots. With decentralized purchasing, IT, SAM, and procurement teams no longer have the full picture of their tech stack. SaaS management gives you visibility into your entire software estate. Second, it helps you contain and reduce software spend. Companies average $45 million annually on SaaS. SaaS management helps you find opportunities to reduce spend and increase application value. And third, it helps you govern shadow IT. 35% of apps are bought by employees. SaaS management brings shadow IT out of the dark so you can implement governance policies to control it. And last but not least, SaaS management helps you reduce security and compliance risks. Our data shows that 65% of expensed apps had a security score of poor or low. SaaS management helps you stay ahead of security risks like data breach and non-compliance. There are clearly critical business problems that need to be addressed, but not enough organizations are going all in on SaaS management. The truth is that you're wasting money, you're overspending, and you have unmanaged risks in your environment. And it's only going to get more challenging the longer that you ignore it. Let me explain why with a few compelling stats. Companies waste, on average, $18 million annually on unused SaaS licenses. Gardner predicts that by 2026, companies will overspend on SaaS by at least 25%. And that your organization is five times more susceptible to cyber incidents if you don't have a SaaS management practice. Finally, the challenges of SaaS are not going away. SaaS is here to stay. In 2022, IDC reported that SaaS spending surpassed on-premise software spending for the first time. And in 2023, they reported that number to be 60% of total spend was for SaaS versus on-premise software. By now, you probably are nodding your head, but you're also asking yourself, Ben, what does a SaaS management practice actually look like? As I mentioned, SaaS management encompasses three business processes, inventory, license, and renewal management. Let's dive into each one of them. First up is my favorite, inventory management. SaaS inventory management is the ongoing discovery of SaaS in your environment and the centralization of key application data, such as suppliers, your spend, your app owners, as well as your, your security uh, certifications. By having this, this enables you to implement effective SaaS governance, which ultimately helps you control and prevent unsanctioned spending and stay ahead of security and compliance risks. To be successful at license and renewal management, you must establish a complete and ongoing inventory of your SaaS applications. As we often say at Xylo, you can't manage what you can't see. Next up is license management. SaaS license management oversees the full life cycle of a software license from onboarding to offboarding. It enables you to maximize software adoption, avoid unnecessary costs, and drive efficiencies across your tech stack. License management is really important for SaaS because there is just a ton of waste out there. As I mentioned earlier, companies waste $18 million a year on average due to unused licenses. That equates to 51% of licenses sitting unused. So there's a huge opportunity to monitor and optimize your SaaS licensing. And then lastly, here's renewal management. SaaS renewal management is the process of renewing a software contract from the strategy and preparation to the negotiation and the acceptance. 
But let's face it, at the end of the day, no one wants to miss a renewal or get stuck in an auto renewal situation. Successful renewal management starts with visibility into things like what apps you have, what you're spending on them, your license needs, your contract terms, and your renewal dates. Having the right data and a framework in place that enables you to proactively and programmatically manage your renewals, negotiate the best price, and of course, save money. Not to mention, you're more likely to make intelligent and confident renewal and purchasing decisions. I want to emphasize that SaaS management is a holistic business practice. Doing it piecemeal just will not yield effective results. If you're thinking about getting your own SaaS management program off the ground, I encourage you to collaborate with your peers in IT, SAM, and procurement. Go on that journey together. More often than not, I see these teams have similar goals. So why not join forces so you can blow these goals out of the water together? If you have any questions about getting started with SaaS management, feel free to send me an email. My email address is ben at xyle.com or direct message me on LinkedIn. Thanks for uh, joining me today and I will catch you next time.